Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we will talk about a topic called as Telnet. Now Telnet is a part of a practical in BSc IT and in MC also. So what we can do is to configure your Telnet. The first you have to do is you have to go to your packet tracer and to demonstrate Telnet. Now to, uh, to demonstrate Telnet you should know Telnet stands for Terminal Network which means you can access a remote machine. Let's suppose if you have let, let, let's start with the demonstration so we we'll understand you have this router and you have a machine so when you talk about this router router routers are specially placed in your uh, server rooms or we have a dif different area where we can put our routers so if you want to configure your router anytime you have to get up from your desk you have to go to server room you have to configure router so what you can do is you can you can use something called telnet using which you can sit on your own desk and then from here from this desk you can access your router so that means you are enabled the remote access you are enabling the remote access from your router to your machine so for this let me do some connection it can be a it can be a connection through switch also but since we have only one machine we can directly connect this uh, so first to, to, to demonstrate this what we can do is we can go to your router and we can specify the fast ethernet port this 192 .168.1.1 is a gateway for your machine and we'll say on so once you configure your router once you've done the config uh, the gateway part you have to go to your machine then here you can say you can specify the ip address for your machine so it's 192.168.1.2 mask is this and gateway you have to specify 192.168.1.1 and then say close now, now what we can do is to to enable the root access to enable the uh, to enable the remote access of your router to your machine you have a command so go to your command machine and say telnet this is a command and you specify the router address is 182.168.1.1 now if you try to do this it's trying to open but the foreign host which is your router has closed the connection it's because your router is not configured to work with telnet so what we can do is we can go for com uh, CLI mode and we need to get into co configuration mode. Now once you get into configuration mode the commands are you have to first uh, assign the virtual terminal we can say 0 and then you have to set the password for your telnet so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have to set the password for your router. Now once you've done this uh, then you have to say a remote machine can log in so you can say login okay that's it. If you've done this part, your virtual terminal is enabled. Now you can access. Now you can access your router from your machine. So to, to check, we will go to your packet tracer from machine, from command prompt. We'll do the same command. And now it is open, right? So it's asking for a verification. So we can say password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The password is not visible. So enter. And now. Now, uh, if you we, we see, we can access router now. But when you say you have to access your router, you have to do some configuration. And when you, whenever you say we have to go do some configuration on our router, we have to say enable. So when you say enable, it says no password set. It means you have to set the password for your router to access in, in order to access it. To set the password, get into configuration mode again, and then we have a command called as enable password. We can say one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We can set any password. We can set any password for virtual terminal. So, uh, mind you, this password is for telnet. This pass password is for your machine. So, uh, again, go to your uh, machine, and now you can, if you enable the same, if you go for the same command, it's asking for the router password. So, we can say one, two, three, four, five, and okay. And now you can do any of the thing like config T, you can do all those, you, you can do all those settings and that is how you can, you can work with your uh, telnet command. I hope you understand this. So uh, very easy practical. So stay tuned for next video, which will be SSH.